All right, let's take a look at this next pattern. These are VCC patterns, which are also with inward patterns. And uh, let's make sure that you're seeing just the words now in order to understand the categories. Children need to be able to make as many different categories from a pile of words that you provide them in an open sort. Open sorting is not a matter of just providing specific categories that are pre-selected by the teacher. Instead, the open sort allows children to choose sorts based on their understanding, understanding of the words that are available, and they make as many different categories and subcategories. So let's have our focus right here. Um, this is a, a pretty typical VCC uh, patterning that occurs. VCC, of course, stands for vowel, consonant, consonant. And so we're looking at the letters, of course, that uh, follow from the vowel onto the end of the word. This long vowel, mind, um, is very similar also to another word, wind, like wind up the kite string. But these words have a VCC uh, polar opposite providing a short I, and that would be words like fist and must. Um, those are VCC words also. So the point of the categorization, of course, is for children to detect the pattern and be able then to also discern what the vowel is. Okay, let's go up here, and um, we can go and search through these and figure out what the patterns are based on uh, what we're looking at. Let's start over here on the, uh, the top over here. Wind. Wind. That is going to be a VCC pattern. Call. Call. All. And last. Fast. Ah. Ah. So looking at these, you see that if we roll up the categories, we have a VCC pattern here with a short I, as in wind, and um, that's a predominant uh, sound. It fits in the same way as fist. Okay, here we have a, um, a different one, and notice uh, what an elaborate label that we've written for it. It says VCC with A, the letter A, making a short O sound. And it's true. Call is making an aw sound, which is short O, um, while using the A. And over here we have a, a pretty standard VCC pattern. It's short A making a short A pattern. Okay, so out of um, all of these words, you can see that we've been able to discern categories. Um, children are going to be sorting. The sort should look like this above. Um, when the teacher comes around and talks to the student or has a small group at the table, the teacher just simply says, well, tell me about this pattern. What are you seeing? What type of vowel is in these words? Let's take a look at these words. A little bit more complex. Let me move uh, this batch over here toward the middle and notice how we have all sorts of uh, different vowel sounds here starting in the left sink tank gold cost and tomb being able to discern these patterns because they look so much like uh, everything else um, let's start with a tricky one here for sink a long I sound is going to have an I sound. Um, I says its name. This is not sink. Um, if I say it that way, it sounds like I have a strange British accent. This is tank, though, so you have a long A making a long A sound. Gold is m making a, an O with a long O sound. And cost and lost are a very clear-cut uh, short O's, making short O sounds. And then we get this uh, really an oddball tomb. And tomb is a uh, an O making a long U sound. So let's take a look at the labels. 
VCC with I making a long E sound. VCC long A, long O, short O, and this particular oddball one of VCC with O making a uh, long U sound. All right, well, one thing that I want to point out to you is that you should be able to see then that the issue of um, words that don't have their expected sound is almost always going to be a within word pattern. If you think back to the short vowels that we sorted before in letter name alphabetic spelling, uh, those short vowels are all um, very consistent. Those CVC words don't change. But the way in which these vowels change requires children to sort them into different categories. And therefore, the way in which children can detect the words and their sounds and find as many categories as there are differences, that is a sign of strength. So finding subcategories is the name of the game, really, in trying to use any type of open sorts and within word patterns. They are not uh, always consistent, and they have to be explored. You, the next step in this type of a sort is to take blank cards and for students to find consistent um, examples of following this rule. So, in sum, expect a lot of categories. Expect the focus to be on the vowel. That when children are able to tell you about the vowel and why it's sorted into that pattern, and that the child is showing a consistent use of lots of different categories, that's a sign of strength.